Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will set up the Ethernet module for the IOLINK Master, enabling the PF3W7, ISC70, ISC70G, and other IOLINK devices. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will have water recirculation circuit monitoring activity through IOLINK control from PF3W7 and ISC70 port process data. Let's get started. These are the parts and additional equipment that you will need to add to your fluid and air circuits for operation control when your module is ready. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication as well. Please review the IOLINK PF3W7 and ISC70 hardware setup video prior to this one. Also, check out the PF3W7 ISC70 network and IP address video before proceeding. First, complete the air tubing circuit between the ITV ISC70 valve manifold and the process pump. Also, complete water suction and return tubing between the pump, PF3W7, ISC70G, and the fluid reservoir. Close the AS fluid flow control 100% before proceeding. With the ITV turned off, turn on your air source and power. Check that the ISC70 is pressurized. If so, double check that all circuits are protected from water leakage before proceeding. Now, let's set up the IOLINK master for the PLC. Download the EDS file from the IOLINK master manufacturer. Also, download all necessary files for PLC access support, referring to manufacturer specifications. Then, with the IOLINK network running, start a session of Studio 5000. And, select and add the IOLINK master EDS file, then click Finish. Right click on the Ethernet scanner in the controller organizer and select New Module. Isolate and select the commercial IOLINK Master brand. Then in the Select Module Type table, highlight the IOLINK Master model and click Create. In the New Module table, first enter the IP address previously set for the unit. Then enter the desired unit name. Before moving on, click Change, then change the data type to Integer, then click OK. Then save the program and go into Who Active, and highlight and download it to the PLC. Make sure you follow the screen to complete the download. Then change the program over to Run Mode, and finally, we will go into the controller tags. Note the tag device descriptions that were added as helpful labels for the IOLINK master port functions. Now, with the ITV on via its output register and the ISC70 pressurized, slowly open the AS fluid flow control inline to the pump. Water will recirculate through the pump as the suction and return lines share the reservoir. Now, the PF3W7 should register fluid flow and temperature on its screen, as well as on its bit indicators. Also, the ISC70G will register fluid pressure through its visual and process data. Fine-tune your circuits through the operation manual or quick guides. Now we can see that the fluid recirculation monitoring application is running through the PF3W7, ISC70, ISC70G, and IOLINK control. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our other technical training videos to assist in controlling your automation processes.